<laughs> you can never. I'll never give you the pass. It, it will be impossible. Oh, okay. It would I be impossible to give you the password right now, unfortunately. Um, that's okay. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely okay. Hey guys, welcome to this. Uh, welcome to the live Valleycast. Yeah. Um, also, Steve, I love the idea of what you're saying of us starting um, a separate podcast called Dynamic Banter Two, and I like the idea of you not. I think you do need to speak with Mike about it, and I think you need to figure out if it's going to work. But at the same time, I'm excited for the opportunity. I told you that in confidence. Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with you. <laughs> we'll yeah, be right back. We'll be here all and day. And that's what you guys are here for, isn't it? <laughs> and that's what it is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You know, we're straight. Thank you. I'm at the the uh, Fa the Fay Clan says my my back my room my new room decor looks wonderful. I would love yeah. to model my my apartment after Pee Wee's Playhouse. Is that Quite crazy? A, well, it kind of is. It's not. It kind of is. Off. Yeah, you're right. It's not too far off. Should Any we see comments on on my decor? Uh, Anybody talking about plan? what game is this? Says Polar Blair. Because <laughs> <laughs> do I have a deep voice? I can't understand you when you talk like a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Is this thing this thing is making me sound like a demon? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, me and the demon. Sorry. sorry, that's just for the live streamers. How come nobody um, said anything? Nice members only jacket. Thank you. I got it for a joke so I could look like that old kid from Stranger Things or an old version of that kid. Oh, from that's Stranger great. Things. I love that. That's working out for thank you, buddy. You. It's um, very expensive and I like it a lot. Okay, now I understand. Too expensive. Now I understand why someone said in the chat that they've we've been hacked by Anonymous because I had my, my voice sounded real deep and scary for a second. Guys, Merry Christmas. You, Happy holidays to you guys. It's Christmas and uh, you know, Elliot and I are um we're doing our doom. in love. We're in love. And it's time for and it's time for you all to know about it. <laughs> Feel the same. We didn't question your weird voice cuz that's just expected at this uh, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> what did you lose? Froki had a members only jacket. That's not inclusive, Steve. It was another Steve bit. Why would we question it? <laughs> what are you I doing know, for Christmas? Steve? I know because then sometimes people Steve. people acknowledge it, and then they go, and then and then I go, uh, "Why are you acknowledging my jokes? Mm -hmm. I don't want my jokes to be acknowledged by anything other than laughter." <laughs> Elliot, uh, how you doing, man? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna light up a joint here. Is that okay? I'm. Please do. I'm hanging with uh, my in-laws currently in Palm Springs, and we're about to go do. Have you ever? You've been to Palm Springs. Have I like. You ever I, done? I really like Palm Springs. I don't necessarily love it in the summertime. Oh no, because it's deathly hot and yeah. you can't survive. Have yeah. you ever done the tram up the mountain? You know what, man? I think I've told you this, but my dad, my dad wanted to take me. My dad wanted to take my brother and I on that thing in Palm Springs and we took one look at it and said we were terrified of it and so we never <laughs> <laughs> we never got a chance to do it are you a little scared of it uh, uh, not till I get on it and then yeah. it is a little um because you can feel it hanging and turning yeah. as you go and then you see little goats and it's a cliff that you if you fell you die and the one time I did it afterward the next time we drove by it was like um, this is shut down for repairs and then it stayed that way for like a year and a half And so hopefully they got all the repairs done, but it should be very fun I think you'd enjoy it once you're up there. <laughs> they're fixing it right now It's still you can still get on it while they're fixing it, but it's <laughs> yeah, there's on the outside <laughs> Holding they're in the waving glass. and they're just smacking a hammer into the glass I'm drinking a stone IPA currently um, as a uh, uh, Palm Springs makes you do uh, unhealthy things, but that's not too bad. I guess is, is how's Palm Springs in the winter time? Is it cold? Chilly. What's it like where you are over in? What are you? Sh it, you're still it's chilly. You're I'm in the valley, Los, baby. Los Angeles. I'm in the valley and I think I freaking love it. And, I, and look at me. I'm bundled up. I got a beanie on. I got my shawl. Yep. This yep. is a shawl. You look like a shaman. <laughs> Thank you, man. Like a millennial shaman, mm. a Gen Z shaman. Do you know what that hat is based on, the film? Because I do. Uh, 
God, dude, you're making me miss. I can't do any of that. Right Why now. not? Piss tests? I took an ed- ed- edible. Oh, edibles are night. nice. But I can't do I'm not going to openly. Dude, the other day, the, uh, someone, Go- Gooner in the chat says... Uh, I was literally just watching an older dynamic banter podcast video. So now this feels weird. You guys do video too, huh? We can do that. We've been, we've been doing it. How long have you guys been doing dynamic banter? And more importantly, how much longer are you going to do it? <laughs> well, it's almost up. Cause I, I gotta <laughs> say as a, as a patron, as a patron of dynamic banter, We've been in the Discord chatting quite a bit about it, and I think you should have a cool rollout and disappear into a cloud of smoke. What's the plan with it? What's your five-year plan? Well, we just launched a Patreon, so we're we're if if history serves us, we're about ready to tank. Yes. <laughs> From what you've learned in previous, uh... <laughs> so if history is. If history is any indicator, any indicator. of <laughs> won't be long. No, no. Um Dynamic Mansion was around week? before SourceFed ended, potentially. Or maybe it started yeah. as it was ending. Cause I think we were doing a show called Clover we were doing a show called Clover Feels before Dynamic Banter, yeah. which was the predecessor to Dynamic Banter. Yeah. And um that you can you kind of topped it with the titles as far as I'm concerned. Not that Dynamic Banter isn't the <coughs> title, but Clover feels you kind of peaked there. So congratulations. That was Thanks. a really good title. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. No, go for it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be done in about probably about twenty minutes. Yeah. No, he's just coughing and he's already high when I start when we start talking. So that's I don't know. Not, I don't know. It's actually true. not true. I wasn't high yet. I, I am now. Tell high. her to put some. Tell her to put some clothes on. It's not my fault. Um, do you doing this? Are you doing this uh, all day now that you start him, or do you stop after streaming? You, you oh, absolutely not. No, no, no. I am. I, but I am playing God of War, which we'll talk to. We'll talk about it in a sec. Great, because I can talk to you about this game I've been playing called Zelda, <laughs> which well, I have not stopped <laughs> oh, playing. Oh, good, yeah. Because guys, chat Twitch. For those of you that are listening to this, you're like, "What the fuck's going on, man? This, this shows all over the fucking <laughs> Zelda. place." Maybe you think that every time. I am smoking. I was smoking a joint in Pee Wee Herman's house. <laughs> Could you imagine someone smoking a joint in the playhouse? I feel like that happened a lot. Um, so, Dynamic Mantra is a great, great name. Thank you. I I, mm-hmm. I feel very good about that name. It's a good podcast name because you're like, ooh, that sounds like that sounds Fine. like something that sounds professional. Yeah. And then you listen to it, and it's cartoon garbage. But uh, but dude, the other day, so you know, I don't know if you know this, but you know, my 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 good friend Owen, some mm-hmm. would say my best friend Owen. He would say that for sure. K Vax says, "What the fuck is going on? Good shit. That's what." And yes, I do know this beanie is from a film called The Greasy Strangler. It is a promotional item. Oh from the from a film called the greasy strangler and we i think we showed that to you without your consent yeah um, you did it's a core it, memory <laughs> yeah, it is a core memory because it was at, it was good for me because i got to introduce you guys to a real weird movie and you guys got to be very uncomfortable and it made me happy it was the most uncomfortable movie um, I've ever seen. Have you now seen <laughs> Terrifier 2? I haven't seen Terrifier 2 yet. Did I say I was going to see it? I we fucking talked blew. a little. Okay, we're going to watch it tomorrow it. in VR. Tomorrow night nope. we have our VR movie nights. Um, Dude. And we, we watch it in VR. It's so fun to watch movies in VR, man. You don't even know it. Because there's people around you also watching it with you in a screen, a big screen. Is that what it is? Yeah, you like see. It makes you look like an you sit in virtual God, like a virtual so reality old. movie theater, dude. Yeah, I think I've told you about this. You don't have VR, right? I have the Oculus, but we don't use it very often. I think we need a new one because the the handles start flying away now. Yeah, the handles I think broke, and then so if we're doing something, then one of the things goes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Did it. you break it? You broke it. You already broke it. We is broke. What you're saying. You just say break. Yeah, we, we broke, broke it. We broke it. <laughs> we broke our toy. <laughs> we broke it. We broke the toy. We broke the very expensive toy. <laughs> we broke the very expensive. <laughs> dude, so um. 
Uh, so Owen and I have been jamming and it's and banding and gigging and friggin and kicking it. Yeah. And uh, and we've been playing music and you know some of these people who are here watching this or listening to this have watched Owen and I perform. Maybe we've done some streams. Yeah. And um, <laughs> VR is fun until Steve starts playing the hardcore porn, says Salvatore R. And he's not wrong, but I think that's when the fun truly begins. Mm-hmm. Well, it's you as the artist you have to you know do your interpretation and then you meet in the middle with your audience it's beautiful i've really been doing this like <clears throat> performance art for my friends when we do vr and i think there's been like a performance art kind of um vibe on the twitch stream too i've been doing a lot of like really yeah. strange video mixes and audio stuff and um absurd Gracias in bienvenidos flalos televisión marquenos uh abren los ojos pero Elliot C Morgan Elliot uh, <laughs> <laughs> and myself are here um, I'm trying, I got to learn Spanish like we'll come to the, there's too many things I got to learn Spanish Elliot we'll talk about it in a second someone in the chat bring okay. it back that I got to learn Spanish I got something I want to talk about um so uh <laughs> yeah 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 the vr stuff is like a performance art i want to i want to i want to bring it to a larger venue somehow and i don't know how to do that like i want to what i've been doing in vr is very strange you'd need people who have been there to kind of explain it maybe okay uh but uh we've been like i bet that that wouldn't even do justice. Maybe either. not. Yeah, you just have to kind of experience it. Because what we've been doing is a lot of times it's accidental joke. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Oh, dude, I hi. love a hummingbird. I really oh, do. Oh, it comes right up to the window and says hi. Um, anyway, sorry. Go the ahead. pre-show performance art segments are legendary. Yeah. Someone someone said, I think, uh, that I should do the Breath of the Wild solo um, stream at some point. And I do kind of oh, want to. Wow, dude. I and I've help you never. Set that up. Yeah, which because I've never had this desire, but I have found myself very frequently, say, in bed, turning to Grace and going, hey, watch this. I have to make food now. And I'm going to make food. Yeah, and you make it in the, in the pot. Yeah. Yeah. And then she says, oh, I'm bored. And then she looks away. And I'm like, well, what if there was a medium where I could play this video game and people did want to watch me play this video game? And people didn't look away. Have you thought away. about this? And people, and people didn't, didn't look, look away. away. Or mock me. <laughs> or kick me out of the bedroom. <laughs> or tell me to go do my homework. <laughs> I mean, I think that that exists, if, I, if I'm being honest. Okay. <laughs> Elliot, I think that exists. Mm, I don't think... Mm. <laughs> I think we should do it. I think we should do it. And but it would be fun if I could be if I could like commentate on what you're up to and stuff. We should figure that out. Uh that might involve yeah. us being together in the same place if that doesn't uh you could sit on my comfy couch and play Zelda or something. Hey, you know there's a last time for everything. There is a last you know time I mean? for everything, <laughs> correct? Uh so anyway, so Owen and I have been doing this band and we came up with I think we've got our band name. Cuz I used oh, to so, okay. yeah, and this is very important, Elliot. Because you know, for me, I yeah. think it's important that our name, whatever we are named is very good. Yeah, when yeah. When we came absolutely. up with the Valley Folk name, I remember there was a bunch of different spitball ideas. Yeah. Everyone had bad ideas, some way worse ideas than others. Way worse, and I'm sorry about those. And, uh, and I didn't want to say me. it was you, but when you told us we should be called Plumbing Boys, I was like, where are you coming from with this? I Can you explain yourself? Two. Plumbing <laughs> Boys, the sequel. I thought you said Plumbing Boys, two men, with the number two between. <laughs> <laughs> plumbing Boys, to men. Plumbing boys to men. <laughs> when bring the funny. Well, we've already talked. We've talked ad nauseum about Valley what is Folk it? alternate names. Some of them yeah, were. What's... One of them was like Squeeze Box. I I pitched Squeeze Box as a name Pretty for the good. Valley Folk. Um, and I that was that, ahead of its time. I Squeeze like Box it. Sounds yeah. right. Doesn't that sound like something that could still be something? Mm hmm. That's why it we sounds failed. like something that. Because we, yeah. we, we call ourselves the Valley Folk and not Squeezebox. We figured it out. <clears throat> Salvatore. What's your name? What's your band name? 
Okay, so the band name is very important, Elliot, but before I get to it, I've got to tell you my other band names I've had in the past. Okay, great. Okay, so I had a band name. Now, excuse me for saying this word. I know it's a bad word now. <laughs> you can't say <laughs> it. <laughs> Elliot's nervous. Elliot's like, this could be no, anything. I, I like you preface it. Because normally what you do is you won't preface it. And yeah. you'll just say it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I wanted to say I wanted to. You're now so say red right something. now. You're match well, your I'm beanie. Ready. <laughs> I'm red because I wanted so badly to say something so awful right now, <laughs> as a fake name for the band. <laughs> yeah, and I, we all saw it wash over your face and flush you out. It was beautiful. No, it's not right. another word for cigarette, Polar Blair. I'm not gonna say a, a fake one. The band was okay. called Two Times Taller Than Midgets. Okay, great. And this was a different time, and you could say you back then you could say midgets, and it was hilarious. Now right. you can't say midgets. It's a derogatory word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Explain this more. Ex keep explaining. It. <laughs> and now thanks for the sponsors. Well, who's our sponsor? <laughs> oh, the sponsor. You guys like food? Uh <laughs> Steve was dying to say it three times. <laughs> and we'll be yeah. right back. A uh, trick happened. Dude, Jonathan Gay was a classic. And recently on Dynamic Banter, there was one. It was like a man inside me or something. It was like a foreign name. It was like, and it like, <laughs> all right. So two times taller than midges was one of my bands. And then I had another band. So that, and that was with my friend Devin. And we wrote comedy songs and we had an abortion song that was way ahead of its time. It was a pro choice song hmm. that, that didn't cause as much of a stir as it would today. Oh, really? Do you have the recording still? Probably somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd ever want to play that live somewhere. <laughs> Do you think if I typed in two times, taller mm -hmm. than no i don't no i don't think so i don't think it will that that would come nope. up definitely did not <laughs> good so anyway and then owen and i started a band called telekinesis with my friend isaiah and we played cover songs at a bar in uh that in ventura called dargans nice and, and then telekinesis i left the band because i got a real job and uh the band changed the they changed their name to the johnson account which i thought was a cool name for a band that's a very cool name right i don't even know why i like that's nice it's so good and they would wear suits oh great <laughs> that's very good so good i love it um and because you know we always talk about how we landed the big johnson account and like uh you know uh -huh. i'm working on the johnson account uh-huh <clears throat> and then that band died and so now Owen and I have reformed as a cover band and we were like, what do we call ourselves? Telekinesis two, two times taller than insert wor worst, worst mm -hmm. term here. No, oh, you got to go original. You got to come up with something totally fresh. Dude, it feels so, it feels like it was right there the whole time. And all oh, we beautiful. needed to do was reach out and grab it and then put it in our mouths. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Make it part of you. Yeah, please. This is an exclusive. Okay. This is the first time I am publicly announcing the name of my band with Owen Carter. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Big piece of shit fat. No, I'm kidding. I mean <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be right <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, do you do you remember this original logo for the Valley folks? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Factory, that is what I was going to say. Um, no, the band is called Are You Ready? This is I'm very proud of this. It's great. It's called yeah, Bedtime for Puppets. Bedtime for Puppets. Nice. Okay. Not puppet bedtime. No, Bedtime for Puppets cuz it's because we start playing when it's bedtime yeah. for puppets. Okay. And what time is that, Steve? Usually in the evening. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's fair. BFP. 
Um, I love so your, what, I love your instant. Well, well what about puppet bedtime? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Like I say, the opposite of the title you said, <laughs> dude. Every time I introduce Owen Carter, I should say I'm sorry about your brother. <laughs> it's so funny because uh, of Aaron I'm Carter. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, are we doing okay with that? So listen, are you guys doing original songs or only covers? Only covers. But you're so good at doing real songs. Why don't? Are, is this a part of a larger? There's a what's big five year plan. Well, let me tell you something, Elliot. It's really hard to write original music. I don't understand how anybody has ever done it. Ever. I, know, I don't understand I any of it. Because some people don't have that thing where they play it and then go, oh, my God, I'm immediately embarrassed about this. Some I people guess you play have to it, have that a little bit, right? You, you have gotta to have, you gotta work. Yeah. You'd be a little shameless. You have to be a little shameless. You have to be like, you know what? This might be cringe. You know what? I don't know, man. But, you might, I think you have to be unaware of cringe to write yeah. music but you write funny music like you could do funny yeah and so which brings me to this point which is <laughs> it's hard to write music and it's even harder to write funny music and it used to come really easily to me and i would be like truly i'd be someone would be like write a song about a goblin and i'd be like all right here i go and I'd be like, mm -hmm. do, 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 number one record in the youtube make believe music land yep and then I listen to those songs now, and people love them. Like, I did this song about a bear with Trisha that people still love a lot. What's it called? The Bear Song, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and it was completely... I like, I like the idea of trying to get even remotely deep, or even joke, like, why are you calling it Bedtime for Puppets? Probably the time puppets go to bed. Because that's what time puppets go to bed, when we start playing. <laughs> what time do they get? Evening? Evening. <laughs> Sometime in the evening. <laughs> we'll never do a daytime show. Cringe is dead. Long live cringe. No, cringe is alive and well. Did you see what Katy Perry tweeted today? <laughs> no, what is Cringe she is do? alive and well. She tweeted this fucking thing your your racist aunt would have put on Facebook, thinking it was the funniest thing in the world. She uh she got like raked over the coals for Super. for Polit political things people were like no you voted for the wrong person i was like oh my god they're really going after her because she and went that's all I she, because she publicly supported a pro life republican senator who then instantly became democratic and now they're all going like but they're democratic what's the deal with the new one what did she what she a funny thing well she she's trying to be funny <laughs> yeah she so she posted that political thing and then everyone went uh-oh we lost her we lost her to the to the other side, and uh, you and then she, and then t so now she's already like in the cringe zone. Okay, and so well, today, me, <laughs> may I may I say real quick that yeah, she's ahead. great live. She's great live. I know. I love. I I love. You her. would love her. I show. do love, love her. her I think she's talented, but man, I the whole the pro life thing. You want to reel it in? The pro life being okay. so supportive of pro life. Is are you trying to get? Are you trying to get me to admit that you, my, staunchly pro life stance? Yeah, I would love for you to talk about it. Would you talk about it? Okay. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, no, uh, that's very funny. Though. <laughs> but so she. Okay, so today, so everyone's like, bah! so today she tweeted a thing that's a picture of someone. It's like a picture. It's like a cartoon doodle of a cell phone. And it and it shows someone like in a jail cell in the picture looking out and it says above it now i know why they're called cell phones because it's like you're trapped in a cell or something like that and uh it's just like the worst it's like something you're it's like let's have let's, like what's next a minions meme um, right it's like a, i'm 14 and this is deep yeah kind of or like your which is my favorite like kind of cringe your favorite uncle. Kind of <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And I so that's it. the kind of so so that's the kind of cringe you need to be unaware of to write good music, I think. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be, get past it. Well, listen, let me ask you something, Steve. Yes. Have you have you ever heard of HelloFresh? <laughs> Sorry. I think I have, yeah. Can you refresh my can you refresh my memory? 
I will read HelloFresh your memories. Uh, with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, guys. Also, the holidays are just around the corner. We were just talking about that, and HelloFresh makes this busy time of year easier than ever with chef crafted recipes and pre portioned ingredients delivered right to your door so you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. And also, you can save money on dinner with HelloFresh and put it toward your holiday shopping. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. I have it all the time. In fact, I wish I had it right now with me here in Palm Springs, but I don't. So anyway, here's the deal. Order the meatloaf. That's all I have to say. Go to HelloFresh.com slash ValleyCast65 and use code ValleyCast65 for 65% off plus free shipping. What? What did you say, Elliot? That's crazy you said that. Well, guess what? Go to HelloFresh.com slash ValleyCast65 and use code ValleyCast65 for 65% off plus free shipping. How about that? It's absolutely Personally, I find delicious. Um, man, it's <laughs> that. God, we're out, everybody. Thank you for listening. <sighs> we that, got. <laughs> I, I felt a part of me leave. Is it because we there's a there was a live streamed Valley Folk abortion debate <laughs> followed by our sponsor HelloFresh. <laughs> Said Finn All the within the context of the <laughs> Katy Perry. No, I yeah, don't. Yeah, that's be, a cool point I, about I, abortion. I, uh, you guys I, heard a sixty. <laughs> uh, they I make little f- meatloafs. Oh, so okay, Mike, okay. Mike Janae says I would buy food from either of those faces. That's really nice. Nice. Uh, Katy Perry Thank is you. an artist, not a songwriter. And as someone asked, do I think she writes that music? And I don't think so at all. No. no um, most pop stars don't write their own music. Great concert. Great in concert. I'm sure of it. Do you ever feel like being on your cell phone? It's like, oh my God, no wonder they call it. <laughs> no wonder they call it a it cell. Feels, it feels like, oh my God. God it's such out. a fucking, dude, it's so cringy. Because it's like, first of all, who the fuck calls it a cell phone? <laughs> No one calls it a cell phone anymore. What is this, 1999? Like, what phone? What other phone are you differentiating from? Now I get why they call it a cell phone, because I feel like I'm in prison. Fuck you, you're rich. I like it, man. The cringe, bathing in cringe, this is a, a <laughs> running disagreement that I have with my partner and slash wife, where we she can't handle it, and I will... It brings me a joy that I can't I know, articulate. I know. And I think it's because I've been so cringy and done so many cringy things that when I see other people do it, I'm like, welcome. Dude, I Look love it cringe so much. I love it. Like Borat and Eric Andre. Like they're, okay, well, you say that's cringe? Well, hold on, hold on. There's different types of cringe because the cringe from like an Eric Andre and a Borat is like, oh, God, I can't watch him fuck with real people. It's like secondhand cringe. Like, oh, fuck, I, oh, God. And then there's the stuff where it's like, I haven't, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. Cringe, yeah, yeah. With a minion on it, looking all sleepy with a cup of coffee. It's when, I think when people are trying to be really deep and they're trying to sit, sound really deep and then you can tell that they're just dumb i think is my favorite like venn diagram of internet content i started to feel cringe from marvel stuff yeah some of it i watched thor uh love and and thunder last night again would you wait again why'd you watch it oh because you're watching it with family and did you get a different feeling, a different vibe? Do you have a different opinion about it now? Yeah, I wasn't as turned on uh, the second time. You were I turned wasn't, on. wasn't a, wasn't as oh right. as turned no, on. Was, I was like, do you think uh, the family had anything to do with that? Yeah. Uh, Dunk Chunk says, uh, "Now I know why it's called a telephone because I'm about to tell a you something." <laughs> Also, like the not to whatever, but I'm pretty sure the etymology of cell phone and prison cell is the same. Like, but a prison cell is that it is a small unit of space, and a cell phone is it is a cellular small. Oh, interesting. That's so so funny. 
that I think they're making like a deep point about something that's like literally like yeah no that's the same but that's idea. what it is yeah because it's localized yeah you have your own cell and you're gonna the people who look at that and go like i want that on a shirt i want to repost that are the people that watched the new weird al movie and said i didn't know he was married to madonna well okay so uh, Elliot, no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> were you like well, fine, i can't I'll... i <laughs> I'll find my footing. I'll were find you, my footing. But were you bamboozled a little? I was pretty upset. No, um, I couldn't get. I didn't get through it yet. Did you? Did you? I know you enjoyed. You guys talked about this on the previous. We episode, did, yeah. But I haven't finished it. I did enjoy it, but I have. I didn't keep my attention. I got bored very, very. Quickly. I understand. Is that bad? I think you need to be like a super fan of Weird Al to really, I'm a pretty big really fan. love it. I got a lot of the the jokes. And I will finish it. Well, but what it do you think it like, was about it? So you couldn't, you just stopped it? I think I was like, oh, I'll just enjoy this later. And, but it didn't, it wasn't like, I have to watch it. you haven't it. been pulled it back didn't. yet. Yeah, and I will I, at some point. Yeah, Dude, I recommend you, uh, taking another, like, start from the beginning again. Okay, yeah, I will. Because the beginning is pretty I love wonderful. It. I love uh, it. The, uh, have you watched Andor? Yes, I love it so much. Okay, great, great, great. great Dude, great. how deep into it are you? Oh, oh! It's like weirdly, I like feel like I'm a real Star Wars fan. Are you caught up? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, isn't it? Isn't it so good? It's like the best. It's the best. If I wasn't, it it doesn't need to have anything to do with Star Wars. I, that's like, the I, thing, I, dude. I like, that's the thing. I was telling Owen this because Owen's like, I'm sick of Star Wars. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all the Star Wars shit. And I was like, dude, this he's is the other member of um of. Bedtime twice for as tall. Puppets. Bedtime for puppets. I just got it. Bedtime for midgets. Yeah. See again, there was no preface that time, so when you sneak it back in, it's. Uh... <laughs> so uh, yeah, so it's really cool yeah. how it's like not it's a great. Star Wars almost like, and then dude, it's so interesting to get the like Empire side of stuff. Oh, wonderful! And the, and the bureaucracy. Oh, I'm in love with it. What do you think is going on, though, with the one timeline where he has, like, the overbearing mother and they eat breakfast together all the time? <laughs> that part makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> that mom, that woman who plays his mom is, like, really something, too. I she's can't. perfect. <laughs> she's, like, but she's, she's like the female Leslie Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Did you have a chance uh, to talk about that? Were you real saddened by that? Like with anybody? I mean, Leslie yeah. Jordan. But did you, did, have you talked pretty, to anyone about it? Have you talked to your therapist about it? <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very I sad. I didn't know Cassian was married to Madonna, says Ryan Faroki. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I love it so much. And I keep trying. I'm like, Owen, oh, please, dude, trust me. And oh, he's not watching it? Well, he's just turned off by star wars these days and i get it whatever i'm not gonna push nothing on nobody i ain't, I ain't, I ain't here to push no star war on nobody yeah but it's good um have you had interest in seeing wakanda forever no have you seen it is it good i'll see it if people tell me it's good here's how i, I feel don't form opinions it. i just listen to others and then decide amongst this is this is my thought on wakanda forever Okay. I'm sure it's wonderful. But, because you haven't seen it. But just like Pixar movies, I'm like, man, I don't want to go to theater and openly weep <laughs> this week. <laughs> is Are they saying it's like very like, well, you know, like people? Yeah. Is it like the Terrifier 2 of Marvel movies? Well, no, the, it's because of Chadwick Boseman's. Yes. Uh, yes. The, I mean, way I get... they, the way they handle him in oh, that film. Oh, so it's and, a tearjerker. Uh, and apparently it's like tissue bring the tissues and it's like am i bad to am i wrong for not wanting to go to the theater to be real sad right now is like I, this is how i feel let's about see what pixar folks movies. in the chat say this is let's what i feel about people... like do you know what i mean like with pixar movies like you know there's a scene that's gonna rip your fucking heart out and mm -hmm. it's like i think i'm not ready to do that yet 
do you feel like because if you started, you wouldn't be able to stop and it would unleash a torrent of emotions that have been repressed over the past five to 10 years? Yeah. And then it all pours out in a movie theater yeah, over a large popcorn. And then there's people going like, what the fuck's going on with that guy? I can't cry every year. <laughs> Bring the tissues for when you jerk it. <laughs> these aren't for crying. No, no, these no. aren't for crying. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry during this. Uh, uh, I mean, so yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. I am, I am gonna see it, but I kind of want to wait till I can watch it at home and cry alone as normal as a man and does. cry alone like a man should. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But Andor has been fucking doing it for me, man. And so I've been trying to suggest Andor to Owen. And and what I said, can I tell you, Owen and I have been suggesting these shows that have I've been really enjoying and he's been really enjoying. And so the track record is good. You know, like, I think okay. I think he should trust me. Like he suggested Los Spookies. Have you heard of this show? No, lay it on me. Fred Armisen uh, and Lorne Michaels created this show that is about a team of kids, young adults that um, make scary situations for people like they're hireable, like scarers. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny and so good. It's all in Spanish. So prepare to read. And it's been helping me a lot with my Spanish. Nice. And I'm like, fuck, maybe this is what I need to do. I just need to start watching a bunch of Spanish shit because I know it's locked in here from when I my parents would speak Spanish all day. Yeah. So anyway, so he suggested Los of Spookies and I've been loving it. It's very good. And then I suggested Elliot the White Lotus. I haven't seen that either, but I've heard good No. Time. Yeah. Damn it. it. Should I watch that? That seems like a lot I gotta get involved in. If it's three seasons in. I'll do it's, it. It's a really, it's a really, man, I just don't know how to describe it really. It's like a, it's a compelling, dark comedy drama. Okay. There we go. Ragtag artist said Elliot would love it. It's an easy watch. Watch the first Great. season. You've got, dude, there's, Done um, what's Will her do. name? Thank you. What's that woman's name? The one who talks like this. I don't know if I can do it today. I'm a hot mom and everything, and I'm kind of weird. Jennifer Coolidge, yes. Oh, right, yeah, Jennifer Coolidge. Lots yeah, of, of Jennifer course. Coolidge in it, which That's is great. That's a good impression. Thank That's you. Good impression. I did my best. Um, but yeah, Jennifer Not Co as good as Ariana Grande's impression. Have you seen Ariana no, Grande's impression? No, no. Oh, I thought you were going to say not as good as my Ariana Grande impression. No, no. And also very good impression that you do of Ariana Grande, which is I'll never do visual. it. I'll never uh, do it. <laughs> dude, dude she I posted... couldn't fake an Ariana Grande impression for you right now. No. I couldn't <laughs> fake it. <sighs> she does a spot on Jennifer Coolidge impression wow, from great. Best in Show with her friend that is- Wow. Uh, Creepy. It's really great. So anyway, yes, but I'll check out White please Lotus. Please check Thank out White ready. Lotus. And then, um, and so I want to watch Andor so bad, but Los Spookies, I also give uh, two huge thumbs up. Okay, great. You anyway. watch these things alone? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll watch them alone or I'll watch them with, with friends. Uh, like I was talking to a... Oh, go ahead. I was talking to a buddy of mine who's, who's a single man, and we were commiserating over the fact that it's very difficult when you're single. Mm -hmm. to get involved in a television show because you want to share it with somebody. I know. I don't know if people in the chat have experienced that or if you've experienced it. I certainly have, where it would be like, what's the point of watching? Like, I'm not going to get in. It's like, it feels sad to watch. And so I don't know if that's a common thing, but I was like, that's interesting that you can't enjoy entertainment unless there's someone else to be like, <laughs> cool. I know. Well, and not only that, it's like I want to be, you know, because you don't want to be alone watching these things because you do want to be like, oh, my God, wasn't that so funny? Let's rewind that. Yeah. But it's like, you know, but but then there's that thing where it's like you can't watch, you can't binge it because, oh, honey, I got to go to work early tomorrow. I can't watch another episode. I got to go to bed. And you're like, but I drank a Coca-Cola like an hour ago and I'm fucking fired up, baby. I got two more episodes in me. And she's like, right. I got to wake up early. Can't watch another one. And if you watch another one without me. You're in trouble. Is that a break upable offense? Well, um, I have a yeah, because I had a wife who watched Love Is Blind without my permission, and uh, and now where was, are you? Ooh, well, I'm not in the same room as her. You're so somewhere I'll else. That. You're somewhere uh, else. Have you watched Love Is Blind? Uh, no, but I know those shows are wonderful. I know they're, they're all you, like Love you on the Spectrum like the cringe? and stuff like that. Like yeah, the it's yeah, it's an IV. 
drip. It's beautiful. Yeah, right? So. <laughs> it's like cringe directly into your veins. Oof, oof. It challenges you. <laughs> if, if you think you can handle it, cringe. Oh, dude, uh, I, I think I could. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole like wait for someone to watch a show is so it's the most frustrating thing about being in a relationship yeah. and enjoying a show together. It's like you can't watch the next episode until they're available. And, you know, there's people who watch it anyway and then go like, I'll just tell her I didn't watch it. I'll just be like, you know, in your head, you're like, I, I can watch one. Dude, I can watch one or two, mm-hmm. maybe three. That's how the lying starts. Yeah. Right. And that's where the lying begins. <laughs> That's really yeah. A lot of relationship end because of that. Uh, do, let me ask you one thing, Steve, before okay. we wrap okay. things up. Um, sure. Because I have to go get on a tram and go up. Into yeah, the sky. go see some goats. Um, it's 30, 30 degrees up there. Wow. You got a big jacket? No. I'm you got, a little cold boy. You got thermal I'm pants? Good. I got nothing. I'm wow. You're boy. just wearing your California skivvies. Um, Joe Beretta just turned 40 years old. Yeah, it was his birthday. Uh, Yes, and we definitely both remembered that. Yeah, well, I I went to, I got pizza with him on on, a couple of days ago. So, yeah, he he came over Saturday. He came over Saturday night. We were hanging out, chatting, and then uh, never even. Min, into midnight, into his birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I that. know. He's like that. But, he loves doing that. He told me yeah, he had a uh, nice evening with you and Mr. Rollins, by the way. I heard about that. Oh, I know. Yeah, my, my buddy's, my Irish friend is yeah. going goodbye. But he uh, he's turning 40 now. You are already, yeah, I'm you've 40. lived some life. I'm in I feel 40. like it would be it'd be beneficial to others as well as Joe specifically to talk about what you know that you can prep him for. Me as well. What have you learned as a 40 something year old that you can pass down to the younger generations? <sighs> Absolutely nothing. I have nothing. Okay, great. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Guys, thank you for listening to today's Thanks show, everybody. watching today's show, experiencing watching. today's show. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, don't stick anything in your ass that isn't fla- f- flocked. What do you call the oblong? Air? What do you call it? The- yeah, there's like a word for the. And the thing uh, that you could don't put anything oh, inside bulb. of you that doesn't have a right a bulb or like a thing. Yeah, yeah a stopper, a stopper, a stop. Yeah, because it can go. Yeah, you want something that flared. That's it. A flared. Don't put anything inside of you that isn't flared. Okay, I'll write that down for the title tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, and we appreciate you guys, Elliot. I love when you stop by the Twitch stream. It's always so fun. Thank you. I like I like stopping by the podcast too. So this is nice. So <laughs> yeah, it is nice when you stop by the podcast too. But let's uh, let's have an assignment. I like having an assignment. Okay, great. We don't always uh, finish these assignments, but uh, but my assignment is is to watch Terrifier two and then talk about it next time. Awesome. And for you, maybe I don't know. You want to watch the first episode of The White Lotus? I will absolutely. Dude, do this it. is a show you could watch with your family. A, a billion percent you could watch this with in-laws. It seems, that way. It seems like a sweet it's, it's, program. It's a total in-law, like, sit down and enjoy and, and laugh. Someone, oh, someone said, one, oh, Ragtag Artist said, one final selling point for Elliot. Mike White created it. I don't know if you know who Mike White is. Uh, who He also wrote School of Rock and Nacho Libre. Oh. Oh, and great. I thought this was like a really dramatic, like, I thought this was more like leftovers. It's dramatic, like, but it's, no, it's dramatic, but it's like a dark comedy. Great. It's real. just, just, it's hard to explain. You just got to watch it. What, and, and please stick with it. Like, if the first episode doesn't grab you, because the first episode doesn't grab a lot of people. First Even Owen was suck. like, I saw it. it. First episodes aren't good. I wouldn't first say, it, yeah, I, and I wouldn't say it's not a good episode. I was in from the beginning, but a lot of people are like, it, 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 I don't know. I'm not into it. So give it like three episodes. Okay, great. Give yeah, it three really episodes good. overall, but at least watch the first one by the next Valley cast, and then we'll talk about okay. it. Okay. Can I give you, if you if you decide to do extra credit, can yes. I give you? Um, all right. This I never a, did um, extra credit, but I'll, I'll humor you right now. Okay. And then we'll, we'll, we're going to end, but this is um, a documentary that came out recently. It's called <gasps> Into the Deep. Oh, Have man. I told you about this? this sounds wonderful. No, but I look, lo- dude, Elliot, I love when you suggest documentaries. I want you to Listen, make, can you make a list? 
Can you do a video? We, I've given you lists. I I've given you a short list. I'd love a video where you talk to camera like the old days and give your top 10 documentaries. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Please uh, do it. I would is, love it. This, the subtitle of this is called The Submarine Murder Case. <gasps> wow. This is like a this is like a old like a Hardy Boys. Yeah. And it only gets worse and darker. See, those are my favorite. My favorite are the, the ones where you watch them and it's just a snowball. And you're like, what? Whoa. So many left turns. A lot of left turns in this one. Let me let me explain something. They this is a documentary where they followed the person around. They'd already been shooting a documentary <laughs> and yeah. interviewing this guy nonstop. And then he makes some moves, you could say. And so they have all of this footage that they could go back through and like find where he was kind of like what saying like his it's wait so they're the, using the footage they have as like as like uh evidence so, like, and like as clues so much wow it's it's perfect <laughs> i perfect. love that did you see tickled yeah, the yeah. Tickled tickled documentary. Is, it's, it's it's similar to that <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, tickled did that too, where it was like, yeah, they're doing, they're finding things out while they're making their documentary, and they're and you know yeah, they're, they're like, exactly. it's like current. We're like right on. Yeah. It's not like here's something that happened ten years ago, and now we have the final answer. It's like we're in it, baby. Yeah, and this dude, dude, he's got like a Elon Musk kind of deal where he's like, I'm building a rocket. I'm going to do this. I've built my own this. And he has all of these like sycophants that follow him around. And the documentary opens with all of this, these workers of his being like, well, um, you know, I guess uh, I guess maybe he'll come back. Um, they're saying the woman's miss the she's missing. Oh, okay. shit. Like they're um, finding out while they're and, recording and, them. <laughs> yeah. And then. He's he's found okay, but oh, I'm sure I'm sure everything's fine. and you see their process of eventually going like, mm -mm, mm -mm, something bad happened. It's great. Oh my god, it's so sad. What's it called? Anyway, into the deep. Into the deep. Sub submarine murder story or something. <laughs> Elliot, I love. It. I want to watch. We should. You and I should start a podcast where we watch documentaries and just talk about them. You talking about doc dicks? No one's ever done that before. Doc dicks too is yeah. It's no, that's not what I'm All talking right. about. Uh, I'm right. talking about a new thing no one's ever done. Elliot, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching the stream. It's nice to hang out with you guys for a second. Guys, second. give Joe Beretta a goddamn happy birthday on Twitter, will ya? It was a couple days ago or yesterday, I think. But He needs it. He needs it. So please say happy birthday to that baby boy. And thank you to patrons. Thank you to viewers, listeners, Twitch thank stream you to Owen. watchers. Thank you to Owen. Thank you to Kevin Plackey, Ryan Faroki. Johnson Project. Elliot, ever since Johnson you got file. the uh, ever since you got married, I you have not been in the van with me on Twitch anymore because you got married and you left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Just continue the saga. Yeah, yeah the chat good. is saying they miss you in the van. But um, you know. Okay, I will get. I will um talk to Grace about that, and we'll see if we can. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Figure out, we had to figure out the legal see stuff. What you can, we'll <laughs> see what you can figure out. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you to the to the Twitch. Let's say how do we, well actually let's say goodbye to the podcast first, and then we'll say goodbye to the Twitch, and then I'll and then you stay on so I can say goodbye to you. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, yeah. podcast yeah. listeners. Thanks for Bye. listening. We'll catch you next time on the Valley Cast. Bye. Bye, bye, everybody. And to our Twitch viewers. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for sticking around. You guys are great. Thank you. If you've never Truly. been here, it's a wonderful channel. I do all sorts of weird shit. We have fun guests playing games. It's your standard Twitch channel, but with a jaded 40-year-old man playing video games. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing God of War. Yeah. Maybe we'll do some more of that later today or tomorrow or something. But yeah, Big Friday Fortnite every Friday. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Mike Janae has gifted a bunch of subs. We love to see it. Give Dunk them. Chunk and I, dude, Elliot, Dunk Chunk and I are working, are cooking up some stuff. And oh, yeah? Dunk okay, is, cool. Uh, is is the the person who has made the wonderful uh, overlays for the channel so far, and they're wonderful. Cool. So more stuff is on thank the way, you. is all I'm saying. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for gifting. You're such a sweetie. And thank you, chat. Goodbye, Twitch. We'll see you soon. 
Let me do my goodbye picture. Goodbye, everybody. What a wonderful goodbye.